All right. So how do you get something out of a list if we've already got a list? So here's um, here's our list right here, okay, of uh, length four. So what we have to do is we have to call a getter. So we're going to call um, the method get. Um, we just tell it what index that we want. Um, so in this case, grocery list dot get two is going to return the element at uh, at index two. So zero one two. Okay. So that's kind of replacing this with arrays. Uh, so instead of just being able to say what the index is, we have to do dot get from that. Um, for set, uh, or for changing the value, it's the same deal, except for we have to say set, we have to give the index um, and the object that we want to put there. Um, this E, again, if it's a list of strings, then this would be a string. And it will, uh, yeah. Um, so let's say I call grocery list dot set one paper towels. Well, that's going to take me to index one, and it's going to set that to the object that I put in there, which was paper towels. Um, the other thing that the setter does is um, before it gets rid of baby wipes, it also returns it in the setter. So that's why the return type of this method is E. So if it's a string, it's gonna return that baby wipes string before we get rid of it entirely. Okay, so it doesn't come up super often, but you know, if, if you need that, um, that's why it has a return type rather than just being void. Uh, so again, we've got the method get, and we've got the method set, and that's what we're going to use um, to access values and change values.